Hey guys, it's 8 on 28. So today we're going to talk about the Battle of Kadesh or the Battle of Kadesh that took place between the forces of the new kingdom of Egypt under Ramesses II and the Hittite Emperor under Muatali II at the city of Kadesh. So let's get going. The battle is generally dated to 1274 BC from the Egyptian chronology and is the earliest battle recorded in history for which details of tactics and informations are known. It is believed to have been the largest chariot battle ever fought, involving between 5,000 and 6,000 chariots in total. As a result of the discovery of multiple Kadesh inscriptions and the Egyptian Hittite Priest Treaty, it is the best documented battle in all of ancient history. Muatali had positioned his troops behind old Kadesh, but Ramesses was misled by two spies whom the Egyptians had captured to think that the Hittite forces were still far off at Aleppo. As Ramesses and Egyptian advance guard were about 11 kilometers from Kadesh, south of Shabduna, he met two Shasu nomads who told him that the Hittite king was in the land of Aleppo on the north of Tunit, 200 kilometers away, where the Sa Shasu said he was too much afraid of the pharaoh. This was stated by the Egyptian text, a false report ordered by the Atites with the aim of preventing the army of his majesty from drawing up to a combat with the full Hatti. An Egyptian scout then arrived to the camp bringing two Hittite prisoners. After this, Ramesses called his princess to meet with him and discuss the fault of his governors and officials in not informing the position of Matali II and his army. As Ramesses was alone with his bodyguard in the Amman division, the vizier was ordered to hasten the arrival of the Ta and Set divisions with the Red division having almost arrived at camp. While Ramesses was talking with the princess, the Titi Charles crossed the river and charged in the middle of the Red division as they were making their way toward Ramesses' position. The Red division was caught up in open and scattered in all directions. Some fled north towards the Amon camp, all while being pursued by the Hittite chariots. The Hittite chariots then landed north and attacked the Egyptian camp, crashing through the Amon shield wall and creating panic among the Amon division. However, the momentum of the Hittite attack was already starting to wane, as the impending obstacles of such large camp forced many Hittite charioteers to slow their attack. Some were killed in the chariot clashes. In the Egyptian account of the battle, Ramesses describes himself being deserted and surrounded by enemies. No officer was with me, no charioteer, no soldier or the army, or no sealed bearer. Ramesses was able to de defeat his attackers and return to the Egyptian lines. I was before then like said in the moment. I found a mass of chariots and hoofs, as I was scattering them before my horses. The pharaoh, now facing a desperate fight for his life, summoned up his courage, called upon his god Amun, and fought to save himself. Ramesses was personally led several charges into the Hittite ranks together. With his personal guard, some of the chariots from his Amun division and survivors from the rooted division of Blay. The Hittites, who believed their enemies to be totally rooted, had stopped upon the Egyptian camp and so became easy target for Ramesses' counterattack. Although he had suffered significant reversal, Muatali II still commanded a large force of reverse chariotry and infantry as well as uh, was the town. As the fleet reached the river, he ordered another thousand chariots to attack Egyptians, the stiffening element being bringing the high nobles who surrounded the king. As the Hittite forces approached the Egyptian camp again, the Niat and Tulu contingent from the Amuru suddenly arrived surprising the Hittites. Finally, the Ta division arrived from the south, threatening the Hittite rear. After six charges, the Hittite forces were almost surrounded and the survivors were pinned down against the Rolontes. The remaining Hittite elements, which he had not overtaken in Wood Lowell, were forced to abandon their chariots and attempt to swim away across the river. According to the Egyptian accounts hurriedly, as fast as crocodiles swimming were many of them drowned. And it's dark. There is no consensus about the outcome of what took the, the place, with views ranging from an Egyptian victory to a law, or in the view of Iranian Egyptologist Medi Yadamadi, an Egyptian defeat with the Egyptian accounts being simply propaganda. 
the Hittite armies ultimately the forced to retreat, but the Egyptians were unsuccessful in capturing Kadesh. And that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and thanks everyone.